from Chinmay Shah in Mumbai. If you're told you're not allowed to laugh or giggle at the world's funniest joke, would you be able to control yourself? You know this adage of being a giggler or laughing. Come on, I'm a happy person. Sure. I think it's okay to laugh and smile with life because it's extremely important. Life is difficult. Sure. Life can be very painful and very exhausting. So I think it's important to laugh. And you know, I mean, very often, I'll, let me just say it straight. When people see me giggle, it can be not necessarily just because one is giggling. I right. see humor in strange things, sometimes for the tone of questions, sure. sometimes because I actually have a flip answer going in my mind, okay. but I'm, I'm saying it, I'm answering it straight. Yes. So, um, yeah, and that apart, yeah, actually I probably laugh at, at normal things in life than at a funny joke. Okay, okay, okay. This is a question that both Dhruval Mehta and Asma from France have asked. When are we going to see you in a film with Shah Rukh Khan again? Roval and Asma, I don't have the answer to this question. Um, there have been rumors flying around uh, ever since uh, his recent apology, but um, I really don't have the answer to that question, unfortunately. Okay. From Mansi Satija in Delhi, who is the more mature one out of Abhishek and you? Mansi, you're asking me the question. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I think we, we take our turns and I think that's the best way to uh, get through life. Uh, uh, well, we take turns in being the child in the relationship and being the adult and uh, we keep a very fair ba balance of that and I think that's because both of us are like, um, in inherently I'm like a child woman, he's like a child man and people who know us know that for a fact. So uh, I think it's, it's wonderful to just keep the balance going. Okay, let me throw in a question here. I should get a few, a few questions as Rajiv. well. Rajiv, <laughs> he's sneaking in on your time. Go um, on. You know, you have a birthday coming up. What are birthdays like at home? Personal, uh, for most of my life actually. And it's, 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 it's great that there isn't any huge transition or change uh, post-marriage ever since you know, I've become part of uh, a, a larger family. Um, it's always been about personal time uh, because time is precious. Sure. I started working really early. I mean, from 18, 19, I've been on the move. Before that, I was a science student and on the move. Right. So to get time to spend at home and real time, quality time and, ex and time at large, you know, like most of the day uh, is, is rare, is on special festivals or on, on birthdays. So it's definitely personal time and um, as much as I can, I definitely answer phone calls, um, you know, people who visit, uh, make that connect, uh, at least on that day, because I know you all tell me I'm terrible with phones and messages otherwise, but at least on the day, I, I try and make myself as accessible as I can, unless my phone crashes or, you know, then I, two days later, I'm sending extreme apologies and replying to everybody, but yeah. What's lined up for this birthday? No plans at this point in time and uh, you'll, you'll believe that because here I am coming off to do an interview yet again at night with you Rajiv yeah. after a very long day of work and this year has been uh, particularly hectic and busy. I mean I've had a lot of busy years but um, this one feels um, even more so uh, probably because of the nature of life now which um, where time is always less, you always require more of it professionally and personally. Sure. The kind of films I took on this year are all these Hathi projects as they say, they're yeah. like really yeah. full on uh, movies. So um, it's been extremely, extremely hectic. So I, I don't know, I'm still working till the last day and I think it's just, it's a normal day. Birthdays come and go and I think every day you just got to be happy and make the most with your loved ones. And sure. It'll be great if every day is a birthday or a new year or Diwali. So oh, okay. so we're going to take a short break on this show, but before we go into the break, I want to show you some fans of yours for whom it's not just another day. Uh, they've got a very special message for you. These are fans of yours from New York who've got a message on your birthday for Aishwarya Rai. Let's take a look. Hi, this is Nandini from Times Square. Happy birthday to Aishwarya Rai and hope you have a really, really prosperous year ahead. This is Ram Nirupama and Aishwarya from Boston. Aishwarya, we are looking forward for your next Bond movie. We are looking for your next Hollywood movie. Happy birthday, Aishwarya. We would like to wish Aishwarya a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy Aishwarya. Birthday, Aishwarya. Happy Aishwarya. birthday, Aishwarya. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much.